Hello there, Dr. D2 here and Alien Isolation. I love Alien. Alien kicks ass. Aliens kicked ass. Three, not so much. Resurrection never happened. Then there are some weird things where things that look like aliens fought things that look like predators, but clearly those were not either one of them because those movies suck. This one, however, looks like it does not suck. This actually looks really good from what I've seen so far. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I'm not going to wait any longer. Play. Play the main campaign. Hmm. The recommended way to experience the game is hard. Well then, if that's what you recommend. Uh, yeah, that's barely visible. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Spoiler, it was really the alien imitating her voice. Pat yourself on the back if you know what I'm talking about. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley. When this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you.
move keys to walk. Well, that's new. Explore the Torrens. Nice beds. Nice sumo. Get dressed. Yeah, that's a good... That's a very good objective, actually. Mouse sensitivity is low. Time to fix that. That should work. Do I have clothes in here? Man. I like the... It reminds me of the ship from the movie. A lot. Those are vacuums. That's how it works in space. Oh, crew roster. Oh, turn off and on. Okay. See, we got Verlaine, Connor, Samuels, and Taylor. Alongside me, Amanda Ripley. Registration manual to manually save your progress? What's that? This one? Where are my clothes? Oh, this one. Game saved. Okay. Well, I don't appear to have clothes in here, so... Moving on. Where one of these? These look. I, I know where this game is going. I think one of those would be a good idea. Green dot seems to be the way to go. Yep. Let's try it. Wrench. Take the wrench. Nope. Oh, I can see my feet. It's amazing how many games forget that. Also amazing how many games forget the idea that you would lower your head if you actually bent down like this, so you wouldn't actually see your feet. You would see the in front of your feet, you know, and... Like, you, you bend your waist is what I'm getting at. Okay, these things prevent me from using this ladder, I'm guessing. This is the way there. These pipes are doing the steam thing. That's cool. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him. You should probably get changed before Verlaine calls us. Yep, yeah, where are my clothes? You seem like nice people, even though you wait work for Waylon Yutani. I hope you're not the one to get chest bursted. Hmm. Oh yeah, one more thing. Where is the airlock? I have a feeling I'm going to need it. You know, because that, that's how every, every single fucking alien movie ends. Except three, because they were on a planet, so they just used the lava bath instead. But no. One. Two. The one that never happened. That one was through, like, a tiny little hole. The hell is this? Ah, oh, personal data. The Nostromo incident. Hey Taylor, we got your case request. 
It may take me a while to dig out the files and the incident happened before my time at the company. So I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Wayland Yutani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from the new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before. Seven and all. Um, scrolling is not working. Oh, hey. That's not working either. Oh, there we go. I have to hold it down. Yep, Dallas, Ash, Kane, which he doesn't know how to spell. Ripley, Lambert, Parker, and Brett. I, oh, God. I can't remember which one's the robot right now. Well, then Yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark on the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try to find the files later. Clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something. Big. Saul. Ah. Well, after this, she better call Saul. Next. No, next. How do I... There we go. Ah, from to Captain Verlaine... Diane Verlaine, okay. From William Connor. Uh, outbound and returns uh, transportation for Wayland Yutani retrieval team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three Wayland Yutani employees, Samuels, Ripley, and Taylor. Passengers include Samuels, Rip Christopher, Ripley, and Man. Oh, these are the full names. Um, number of decks two, number of crew two. Interstellar communication antenna, long haul hypersleep chamber, commercial passenger cargo ship. This is just all about the ship. I just didn't need it. I didn't need to push that. Okay. Background story. Cool. Yep. Yep. We'll find her eventually. I. I one thing I never got. I, I, it's been a long time since I watched the movie. Why would one ship full of just. Six random nobodies and a robot really be such a big deal to Wayland Yutani. That that was luck. I need to find my pants. Oh, tab, there we go. Oh, there I get dressed. Okay. Also going to admit right now, I was not expecting the game to run even this well while recording on my piece of shit computer. I am quite pleased and I hope it stays this way. There we go. Pants! You elude me no more, undergarments and trousers and shit. Next. Speak to Samuels. Okay. I am here, Samuels, and I am wearing clothes. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. Well, you're a robot. That's pretty clear. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. The real question is, is Wayland hiding somewhere in this ship? Like in the... Like in a hidden compartment again? You know, he always seems to be doing that. Or a robot him. Why would he make a robot of himself that looks just like himself that makes that he sends out to people but not call it him? And, you know, I, I I shouldn't think about this too much. 
<laughs> Get out of my way, robot. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Captain. I think you're the captain. Are you the captain? You have a name tag there. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Where's my briefing documents? They're right there. That'll be easy. At least it would have been if not for you, you fucking robot. I'm saying you're a robot. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling. Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. Sounds okay, let's go. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. <laughs> I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Taylor looks scared shitless in that suit. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. the part where she dies. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Side. We found the airlocks. <laughs> Honestly, those two died way faster than I was expecting. And again, he's a robot, so he's probably going to come back somehow. 
I need less air than you do. Alright then. Okay, that's the... Where's the airlock? That's the airlock. That's the door that opens. That's a good idea. One thing I really like about this is that we're playing as Amanda Ripley, which means we get to play as someone named Ripley without messing with the current alien lore. Because we pretty much know every second of Ripley's life from the second she met the alien until she fell into a lava bath. Not counting the time she spent asleep, which was a lot of fucking time. How was oh registration points? I, for some reason, I keep reading, I keep reading that as registration manuals, and that's really weird. Yep. I'm glad my key works on this other ship somehow, some way. Whatever. Oh no, boxes. Can't do that. Oh no, more boxes. They clearly blocked the path. Okay, darkness. Oh. Darkness ain't good. Wait, what? Warning. Okay. Sebastopol stability compromised. Proceed to ah. the nearest partial checkpoint and stand by while orbital stabilizers realign. What does control do? I thought it was... I gotta change that. All right, that's better. I don't know why, I just I will always be used to the idea of control being crouched. That's fire. It's probably not a good way to go. It's the only way to go. Well then, I'm an engineer, so I think I can. Can I go to this? Yes. <laughs> Man. I like this a lot. I just need my motion sense. That's the one thing. I'm not startled by this at all because I know I'm not going to see the alien until I get a motion sensor, which kind of kills it because it's a game, you know, so I mean, you know. Employees only. Employee lounge. Space flight control. Huh. Okay, so what used to be crouch is now peak. And I can look around. What's this? It's a Vasco link. Boulder corrupted. No good. Hey, hey, no, I want to read it. There's one there that's good. Decommissioning. So, boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement. But for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help. But it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will not. And I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshall Waltz, the chief. That's if you find them. I'm taking all the pens I want. Shit. I guess I'm not taking the pens. God damn. What's this? Flare. Go. Cool. This will help. 
clearly this is what I want the game wants me to do. What the? Someone new. You always know, Wilkins Joe. What? Strangers will be... Okay, that's unsettling. What's in here? Okay, I... Okay, map tells me there's only a little bit here. Get up. Okay. Objective. Cool. I don't know what it does. Yeah. We'll be shot. And then it's a race with something else that I can't quite make out. Oh, no entry. I like how long this flare lasts, like a torch for a turn. Keep moving. Okay, do I go up or do I go down there? Down there. Take all, of course. Found items. I should probably have read what they were. Wait, I have this thing. It tells me nothing. 